Hello everyone. Thank you, dear Ajay. Today we are going to discuss about a uh, little bit more about GDP. So the topic of this discussion is uh, how to load GLPC source code in GDP. So GLPC is a uh, GCC, we can say library, which our compiler generally use. So most of our like code like printf or like uh, malloc and, and other code which we generally use we generally use in our program so most of the code is defined in our glibc which we call like a standard library of our uh, c program so that that is generally by default is linked uh, when we compile our program so we generally whenever we have some source code which is using printf so we run it and we can't see the printf source code because it's written in a standard library and so today we're going to try we can we will try to load that uh, glibc code into our program so that we can uh, traverse through that code and we can analyze the code uh, in better way so level of this discussion is beginner and as usual gcc and gdb should be installed and these are the subtopics i'm going to cover so first we'll try to load it okay i will tell which uh, version we generally need to load which will be compatible with our generic program like c program and then we'll see through the simple printf source code okay so let's jump into that okay so before uh, going to versioning so i'll say uh, so for example i have this print.c here so this is just nothing but like a simple printf hello world is printing so i'll just compile it Print.c. If I just compile it, as we can see, with, because uh, slash n is not there, so it's just uh, writing in the same text, uh, same line. Okay, so we have hello world here. So if I just do ldd on this binary, so it will show which are the libraries are like required for this, which are libraries are linked at which which address of this binary. Okay, so if you want to cross check, we can cross check it like where it is actually loaded okay i can show you okay so if i just uh, break main run info drop main okay so if i just see this so we can see here okay, let me just quickly go to upside Okay, as we can see here, so we have a libc here at 35,0,7,000. So if I see the mapping here, 35,0,7,000, if I see the mapping here, so it's around that uh, area only. So it's generally, uh, we can say it's linked at that area. Okay. Okay, so that was the basic point. So generally we can see here which library is gonna linked at which address, or, or we can say linked in the sense it is, uh, this library is required by our program. So at this ad address, it will be loaded. Okay, it will be, it, it, it at this address, it's generally linked, not loaded, sorry. So loaded means it will be loaded at the runtime, but linked is when the, in the compilation series, which we have discussed earlier, so that, Linking is the last place or so this address in this uh, binary is linked. Okay, so our program generally we can see okay, this libc code is generally using. So, how to identify which version of we need source code of this library for sure? So, the one way is generally we can compile this whole um, library this libc library without stripping of the symbols because by default there will be no symbols when generally they we generally install any packages so, so they strip off all the symbols because it's outsourced right so we don't need symbols for that we just need functionality so they out uh, remove every symbol so but in this scenario we require symbols so either we can recompile the whole library and we can just uh, directly use it but the better way is just we need the source code so better to link it with the gdb so can we traverse it parallelly okay so let's just uh, enter this library just uh, like uh, we can enter and uh, it will print the help of this library and if you can see we are currently I'm using Ubuntu glibc 2.23 so what it means is generally 
I if I am running GDB on this binary, okay, so it will require this library to be loaded into this uh, in this uh, binary the heap area, okay. So obviously it's linked at this with this version, so it will look for the same. Uh, it will look at this path for the same library, which is of version two point two three, okay. So if I want to see the source code of any library function, so I have to download 2.23 separately, same version of glibc. So I have already downloaded it. I will open a different pane. Okay, so here I can see, here you can see I have downloaded 2.23. I will put up the link of this FTP mirror site where from where we can download this whole uh, like glibc code. You can just see in your version like this. First uh, make a like ELF and just see which version you are using and you can just download it. Okay, as simple as that. So here if I just go, I entered this. So it was a tar file, so I entered this. So we can just go to the C code. So this is our whole library code. So all the library, like we have stdio. Okay, so this is our whole uh, stdio code, which we generally use. stdio.h, we generally use, right? So this is the code part of the stdio we generally use. So we have printf.c, we generally is written in uh, library, okay? And we can see here underscore underscore printf is a library function which is getting called after we call the printf. Okay, like that we have a lot of functionality. We have uh, std lib also. Okay, we, we generally use malloc. Okay, so for malloc, uh, yeah, so std lib we have malloc also. Yeah, apart from that, we have these many functions st r tool and we use m sort m random so these are functionality if you want to see the internal code of this uh, whole library uh, functions we can just go through this library so one way is we can just open this file and we can read the whole damn code but that's not the usual way so what i would recommend we can just how can we map this whole source code because the version is now same it's a 2.23 as we can see and my binary is also using the same version so i just need to map my whole uh, glibc code that source code with this uh, gdb and it will when i'm going through this uh, uh, instruction of this binary it will automatically look for the symbols inside that also okay so let's do that first okay so let's just uh, uh, compile the symbols of this binary with 32 bit architecture and uh, print or oh, just we will keep it as a pri okay and print load c okay gdb yeah yeah so from here also we can see this other version of uh, gdb is showing okay so let's just add a bit for that name and just let's list it and we are going to add a breakpoint at 5 ok let's con uh, run it and continue it so it executes ok so we are at the breakpoint of printf uh, so if i just go si so this is the pld table so we will discuss it in some in some other topic like uh, what is pld table how these symbols are getting loaded ok so generally if i as i have explained in my previous video i have uh, there is a win feature where we can see the code parallelly. Sorry, I'm going to use that. So currently there is no code because it's just a uh, some PLT instruction. Okay, so let me just add it. So if I just go through SI, SI is just uh, to the step by step in uh, step in instruction. So here we can see DL runtime is also is trying to load the symbol from at the runtime. Okay, so as you can see. Lot of instructions are getting executed from the DL runtime .c. So they are trying to load this symbol. They will look up for this uh, symbol, which is like printf, which I call. So I'm just entering it. So as you can see here, DL lookup symbol is getting called. This is the name of printf because I'm using printf. Okay, so like that, it's very lot of dynamic code, library calls are getting here. I'm gonna just skip through that. So what I'm gonna do? So as we already know, it's a printf function so 
control x so let me exit it out so we already know like it's underscore so printer so most of the library calls are like that only we are using printf or malloc underscore underscore malloc or like underscore so print of printf like they're using so i know it's part of printf.c i just add a breakpoint like this colon it's a printf function okay like that okay so one more thing i i think i skipped here which is i have not added a mapping to the library code so this is just a library which was loaded here so let me just run it again list so if i execute printf so it will by default go to the library which is like uh, libc.so.6 which we saw there earlier so it will go to that code it will try to find the instruction but the symbols are not there so it will just execute the instruction without symbols okay so what we want to see the symbol so we have to map it so like i have explained here so this is the path i downloaded it so i'm just going to copy this path okay so here what we can do we can just write this directory and we can just like this we can just give the path of the whole library so it's better to give the path of specific because it will look it will go through all the symbols so we know the printf code is in studio common we'll just give this right way so as we can see here some directories are such so this is a like a, it's like a from the current directory or current working directory it's like reappended to this right so we can see here so if i just run it again okay so now i am at the breakpoint of this line I can just see the December code. We are at this line before printf. Okay, so I'll just add a breakpoint to the printf function printf dot c underscore underscore printf. Okay, because we know this is the function name inside of printf dot uh, c file, which is part of a glibc. So I'll just add a breakpoint like this. Okay, now I'll just uh, continue. Okay, now I'll just go to the main. Now we can see the underscore underscore printf code is executed. So let me open the same code inside inside the actual library code which I just downloaded, which I downloaded. Okay, as we can see, this is a 27 line. Okay, so this is the same code, 27 line. So this is the whole code is executed. So what I can do, I can just do SI here. Okay, so these are the instruction by instruction executing. Okay, as you can see, instruction by instruction, how it's formatting it. Now it's part of the VF printer. So, I just to enter, it will go to the uh, actual instruction and the whole source code, right? So, as you can see, the whole going through the whole code one by one, I'm just entering it. So, like that, we can uh, check actually what it's doing at this point okay so this is the best way to traverse through the whole code so there is little bit assembly code also so like that we can just go through the whole code so i'm just gonna no, i'm not gonna go through the whole code just press continue and we have the hello world here okay control x i do and like that we can see uh, i just went through the printf code and we check the whole code of printf okay so so here if i just put the directory again so it will re initialize to the same source path okay so it will be like this part now so current directory this is changed back to the previous part okay so this is the simplest way we can uh, traverse through the whole code so we'll discuss we'll uh, we're gonna use this kind of uh, technique in the upcoming videos to understand the more features of any uh, library calls we are gonna use so just try your your hands on some of the functions you will get uh, from here with. okay so i think that's all from my side as i explained so we'll discuss more into detail of this so that's all from my side guys uh so thank you uh just uh, like like it share this video subscribe to my channel thank you